Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this video, we'll talk about a Java interview coding question. So I have a question here, which is this one. So the question is, you are given any array of length n, this array here. Uh, you have to sort this array element in the descending order of the frequency. So what it means is, let's say you have this array of 4, 3, 1, 6, 4, 3, 6, 4. So what we need to do now is, we need to sort this array in such a way that the number of occurrence, the, the, the frequency of that number will define the, you know, the, the, define the sequence. So if you talk about this 4, so 4 is 1, 2 and then 3. So it is, it is appearing for 3 times, right? So it will be 3 4s. Then we have 3 and 3 for 2 times, it will be double 3. Then we have 6 and 6 for 2 times, it will be 6 6 and we have 1 which will be here, 1s. So we have to sort this element depending upon the, the number of the frequency, right? Now it is very easy when you work with collection API, but unfortunately in this question it is mentioned as collection is not allowed. The problem is there are lots of companies they want to check your programming skill set, not how much you know, it's about how much you can implement things. So basically if you know about single dimensional array or two dimensional array, so we can achieve this with the help of 2D arrays or normal arrays. So we don't have to use collection API. Cool. Uh, so I'll be doing this uh, part in two videos. In the first video, which is this one, we'll be discussing about the theoretical part, the steps to follow. In the next part of the tutorial, we'll talk about the implementation where we'll see the actual code. Okay. So let's start with the step one. So in order to do that, so this is my input here, which is 4316-4364. Four, so what we do now is, first you have to sort the array. Now we can use any sort here, we can use bubble sort, we can use merge sort, whichever you sort, sorting technique you like. So we can sort the array and the after sorting the array will be 1, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4 and 6, 6. Okay, so that's uh, that's the first step. So first, first step you have to sort this array. Now second step is you have to create a 2D array and you have to populate it. Now how to create this 2D array? So this 2D array will be of... Uh, uh, two columns and number of rows depend upon the number of unique elements. So in this I have uh, around four unique elements. How to guess that? So what I will do is I will say this one is here and the occurrence of one is only one. Then we have three. The occurrence of three is two. Then we have four. The occurrence of four is three. And then we have six. The occurrence of six is two. Okay. How to do, do this in programming? That's a different question. But that, this is the steps you have to follow. So first step is you have to first sort the array in this format. Second step is you have to create a 2D array. You have to populate that array in this format. Now once you got this, then you have to sort this 2D array in the descending order of the occurrence. So what I mean by that is, if you talk about this one, this column here, in this array, in this 2D array, if you talk about this column, this defines the number of uh, the frequency, right? So what we can do is we can sort it in the, in the order of frequency. So if you can see if it is 4, we have uh, 3 times, okay. So it should come first, 3. Then we have 3 is 2, so it comes here. Then we have, uh oh, hold on. Okay, then we have 4, uh, then we have 6 as 2, so that should be here, 6 is 2. And then we have uh, 1 is 1. So it should be here, 1 is 1. Now once you got all this in descending order of the uh, frequency, what we can do is we can print the elements in this format. So we have to print this 4 3 times, we have to print this 3 2 times, we have to print this 6 2 times, and then we have to print this 1 one time. And that's it, yeah. If you follow the steps, we got an output which is triple four, triple, uh, double three, double six, one, which is the output we're expecting here. Cool? So this is the question where you have to sort the array depend upon that frequency. So the steps you have to follow is you have to first sort the array. Then you have to create a 2D array. Then we have to sort that 2D array. And then we have to print those 2D array in this format. Okay. So it seems difficult but it's not that difficult. Maybe if you are not comfortable with 2D array or single dimensional array. So might be you will find it difficult. So I will suggest just have a look on the code in the next tutorial. If you don't understand the code, it's okay. Just go back to your basic tutorial of uh, 
arrays and 2D arrays and then come back to the programming part then you will, you will the, the concept will be clear okay so that's it from the, this video which is theory of this steps uh, so if you like this video do like on that thumbs up uh, do subscribe for the further videos thank you so much for watching